Hi folks, have another CVS short instructional video. We're going to program your filter if you've selected a CWS neutralizer system or a carbon system or a Chemsorb sediment filter system and you got a 5900 valve, that's this valve right here, then this is going to be how we program it. When you uh, turn the, uh, when you plug the plug in, when you plug the plug in, it says revision 4.4 and then it's going to start flashing between the clock time and a number. And the clock time goes back and forth, clock is blinking on and off, goes back and forth the number. We want to set a few different things and so we're going to enter into the main programming and we do the main programming by pressing and holding both of the two buttons at once and press and hold, press and hold, it'll keep flashing back like you see it doing and then it eventually gets to this T with half its crossbar missing and the default on the valve is C which is in fact where we want it. If you press the set change button then just the parameter that you can change it, it, it starts flashing so that you could change it. So you can change this parameter can be changed between clock, which is what we want, and day over or a day, which we don't want for this application. So for your valve, you're going to set this on C, and then you're going to press the menu enter button. Everything will go back flashing again. You press the menu enter button again. Now it's saying R regeneration. Right now it's 12 a.m. So if we want to set our regeneration time at 2 a.m., we're going to hit the set change button. That's going to have the A blink for a.m. We already, the A is fine, that's what we want, so we press the menu enter button. Now it goes over, now the 12 is blinking. Always bear in mind, whatever number is blinking is the one that you can change. And we're going to go up to 2, now it says 2 a.m. Now it's confirming, look, we got 2 a.m., and so we go on to the next step. Now we're in the first step of our backwash. The first cycle step of the backwash is called the backwash step, and it is, in fact, for 10 minutes. That's the standard default, and so you can leave that one. And so we'll just hit the menu enter button. This goes to 2, 0, 5. We don't use this step in this valve. This is the draw cycle, if it were a softener. And so uh, you hit the set change button, just the 5 started blinking. And now I'm going to keep hitting the same set change button. Goes up to zero, that's just what I want. Menu enter, it goes over here. I still want zero. Hit the menu enter button again, one last time, all blinking on and off. Now go to the next one. Three is our rapid rinse. We always want that to be at six minutes for your neutralizer, your carbon filter, or your sediment filter. So we're going to hit the set change button. The ones place starts flashing. Poke it again get it up to six. Oh no, I went too far. What do I do? Just keep hitting the button and it'll go back around the horn again. You're at six. Then you're going to hit your menu enter button. You're going to change that one and go up to a zero. Got it at zero. Menu enter. Now it's all flashing. Hit the menu enter one more time. Cycle step four is also for a softener application. Zero minutes on that cycle. And these values, folks, that's minutes. It's how many minutes each cycle lasts. Cycle one is for 10 minutes, and cycle three is for six minutes. That's the wash and the rinse. Okay? Press it one more time. Now it's going between the clock time and the days between how long it'll backwash. Right now it's going to backwash every six days. To change these values, we're going to press just the top button only for about a second, release it. Now the clock time's flashing. If I hit the set change button, now I can change the minutes. And I hit the menu enter, now it goes to the tens place, change the minutes. Now it does the hours, go to the tens place, or the, excuse me, to the hours, I change the hours. Now 1.10 in the afternoon. It says PM, I can change it to AM to PM, menu enter accepts whichever one. The A6, that's how often the, the unit is going to backwash. Generally with a carbon and with a neutralizer and with a sediment filter, they want to backwash once a week when we start them up anyway. So we're going to start by putting that at 7 and all at 7 and go back. Look, it still says 6. Oh my gosh, why does it still say 6? It still says 6. It's not going to update and turn it into a 7 until we started the first backwash. 
you can do this on your kitchen table just like I'm doing it on my workbench. First it goes from the from the six that it was at to the number one and then when you keep pressing and holding it again here it is advancing. You can hear it? It's advancing to the first cycle step. Motor's moving the piston. It gets there. I'm going to hit the button again and it'll advance to the next cycle step once it's arrived. We don't have any minutes on cycle step two, so as soon as it gets there, it's going to go to three. It's going to get to three, and it'll say six, which is what we programmed it for. Takes just a little bit for the valve to turn. There, now it's in six, or six minutes for the rapid rinse cycle, cycle number three. Now it's going to go four, which has zero, and then it's going to go, it's going to show the zero, which is saying that service position. And the whole point of this exercise is now, when it comes back, we will see that it updated that change. You just have to wait for the valve to spin here another second. There, now it's getting ready to almost back in service position. Almost home. And there we go. And now it's updated our seven change. So whether you do that as an actual live backwash on top of the tank or you just have the valve sitting on the bench when you first take it out of the box to look at it, but that is how you program your valve. Thank you very much.